Hey there, I have the rare and delightful opportunity today as a mom of three to go to the grocery store all by myself, <laughs> which is actually quite lovely, but I wanted to take a quick minute to address a question that I get actually pretty frequently, but I had from one potential client this week um, that I just wanted to give some insight for you um, of why you should do prenatal physical therapy. Um, and this particular potential client is over 30 weeks pregnant and of course she had been recommended by a good friend of hers um, to do postnatal or pelvic floor physical therapy and she totally understood the postnatal piece but she was asking me you know why should I come in now it's almost the end right like what are the benefits what 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 should I do prenatally and especially in her case um, she's very active she's very fit she's a fitness coach herself um, takes really good care of herself really not having any negative symptoms or nothing that really bothers her or keeping her from doing anything so she was curious what we would do that might be a, a benefit so I wanted to pass the same information I told her and I'll keep it pretty general um, in terms of this post but um, some of the benefits of coming in prenatally versus waiting till postnatal. One of the biggest ones, especially in the absence of any symptoms, is birth prep. Um, one way or another, you have to get that baby out of your body. <laughs> that is going to impact some group of muscles. And if the baby comes out vaginally, it's very much going to impact your pelvic floor. There may or may not be tearing, but there will certainly be strain to that area of your body. We want to prepare those muscles to tolerate that severe strain as well as they possibly can. Strong, mobile, coordinated muscles will not tear as easily in a vaginal delivery. They will be prepared to stretch. Um, you will be aware of them and able to lengthen them as you push that baby out. And so you're reducing your risk of tearing. Um, cesarean, you're going to have an incision through all of your abdominals, right? So all those layers of abdominal tissue, you may lose some of that sensation after that C-section. So we really just want to, again, make sure that the muscles that might be injured are strong, they're mobile, they're well connected. You know how to find them without a doubt. You know you can contract and relax those muscles with good capacity before you go in um, and have an injury on either case. Birth prep, we also do um, push practice and push prep. So what strategy are you going to have to use to push that baby out? Because most people haven't pushed a baby out of before when they're a first time mom. You, how do I push? Like, how do I push and relax my pelvic floor at the same time? So our exam allows you to practice that technique and we can tell you like, is your pushing strategy good? Is it terrible? Here's how you can practice it. Here's how you can make it better. We also go through pain management strategies in terms of keeping the pelvic floor and the abdominals and the back muscles and everything relaxed breathing strategies, tons of prep for labor, and then certainly prep for that early postpartum period so that you know going into labor, okay, these are the things I need to do early postpartum before I see my doctor, before I see anybody else, what do I need to be doing to make sure my pelvic floor and my abdominals are recovering as best they possibly can, that I'm protecting them, that I'm optimizing my recovery. All of those are things that we teach you in prenatal and prenatal PT and even in the absence of any symptoms. So those are the biggest ones um, that I shared with her. But clearly there's also other things like staying active and fit, um, exercising safely through the very end of your pregnancy, um, equipping you with knowledge and, and information to go in, questions to ask your OB for different types of pain medic um, management and things like that. Um, but also, of course, if any kind of symptoms are coming up, sciatica, low back, hip pain, knee pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, like whatever happens to be coming up for you prenatally, that's the low hanging fruit. So hopefully that's helpful for any of you thinking like, well, why should I go in? I'm in my third trimester. It's probably too late to do anything. I would way rather see you once <laughs> before you push that baby out than wait until after. Because again, we can connect with those muscles so much more easily before they are injured than if you wait until after. So I would strongly encourage you, come on in. Let's give you up some birth prep and send you into that labor as prepared as you can possibly be. Hit me up with questions. Hope you have a great day.